thank you for uh, finding the time to speak to us today. Um, I just wanted to sort of get started by asking, in a nutshell, how the shirt framing service came to be. Okay, um, so I wanted to frame a shirt for myself. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a Plymouth supporter, so was um, all my family from, from the West Country. I see. Um, and I went around and it's about £300 to frame a shirt. Wow. So it's quite expensive. Mm. So I looked into it, framed it up, framed a shirt myself, put it on social media, and it's kind of grown from there. So we offer affordable and professional framing at a lower cost, which, which is not, which is not at those ridiculous prices. So. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So, so we're we're effectively framers. Uh, we deal mostly in sports memorabilia. Mm -hmm. So if you have a beloved shirt signed by your favourite football player, your rugby player, a cricket bat. Um, or even boxing gloves yeah. we will frame that for you and then send it back but we also work now nationwide and and worldwide mm. now. so um, uh, yeah so, so we do that and that includes things now we do a lot of runners medals okay. um, so some more personal stuff too because you've you've got well, you've got this place where we are in Broadstone today head office and you've got the showroom out in Pokestone yeah so has it has it actually expanded property wise as well or is this still the only your base of operations still here so so, so where we are in Broadstone, this is our base of operations mm -hmm. um what we do is we have a sh the showroom in pokestown it's actually a shop called in off the fire post yes. run by a great guy called, called paul mm -hmm. um and we use it as a drop off and collection point I like it. and we also have one in portsmouth as well um right. which is run by friends for cancer or friends fighting cancer yes i think they're rebranded as that now mm -hmm. um so we use that in, in Portsmouth as well, but this is kind of ours. So we started off with one unit, mm -hmm. now we've got two, and I think possibly we'll be on to another one soon if we, we keep getting yeah, the nice. rate the rate we're doing, uh, mm. what we are. Um, and yeah, we started off framing shirts, but we realised quite quickly that we couldn't just frame shirts in the local area and sure. it, would, it would work as a business. So we expanded, uh, we send them all around the country, so customers will... will uh, order online send down to us we will frame up check with them and then yeah. send back and now we're doing all, all different sports memorabilia yeah. so and uh, so that's all where's the furthest away that you've kind of uh, to send. Uh, so we've done a couple to Switzerland oh, okay. um, we've got a pallet going to Belgium to a Belgian football club professional yeah. club and I think we've got a few come to America Okay. At the moment, so it's it's um, a lot of hard work in the packaging. Yeah, but imagine, yeah. Um, due to our price and mm. obviously improving, obviously rep reputation as we do more, it seems yeah. like um, more people are finding us and, and putting trust in us. So, mm. which is great. Yeah. Now I remember when we uh, spoke to you years ago when we were humans of Bournemouth um, about your ties to the community um, in terms of charity work, ph philanthropy. Um, because you're attached to Dorset Children's Foundation. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Um, I mean, how how have you been? Um, how, what work have you been doing with them recently since we spoke to you last? So the main work we do with uh, the DCF or Dorset Children's Foundation is we auction the shirts for them. So oh, okay. as charities, they get given a lot of signed shirts, possibly from Bournemouth or from other clubs, mm -hmm. and they don't know what to do with them. Yeah. So what we can do is we can put them onto our page who are, we've got about 2,000 followers on our Facebook who are all interested yeah. in that memorabilia so that they can generate more more revenue. Mm -hmm. um, so we've done a few more for them. We've got about three more coming up, which will be on our social media yeah. um, within the next few months. And we've also done the same with a lot of other charities as well, which is great, which is, is something we, we really enjoy doing. Yeah, yeah. And you mentioned as well uh, Friends Fighting Cancer. Yeah. Um, which is something that you've become involved with um, a bit more recently. Yes. Yeah. So those guys, they um, uh, we started framing a few shirts for them for their uh, events. Yeah. But now we are sponsoring a team in the Bournemouth event. Oh right. And okay. I'm actually uh, getting my boots on and playing as well oh, in one of the teams. Yeah. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Mm. But um, so we're doing more with those. Again, the drop-off shops with those guys. So mm. we we, um, we actually make a donation for every shirt dropped into the Portsmouth shop yeah. to their charity as well. Um, so it, it's, it's it's great, and we love being kind of involved with the local charities because they do yeah. great work, especially those two. So mm. absolutely. Do you think this charity work, these associations, do you think they've sort of helped towards the success of it? Because it's quite a niche 
um, sort of business, really, um, well, in, at least in this area. Um, obviously, the affordability thing obviously counts a lot towards yeah. it. Do you think the, the, the charity aspect of it has, uh, has counted towards it a lot as well? Um, I think so. It wasn't our original plan, no. um, but more and more we have uh, customers said, "Oh, you know, we've seen what you've done for these guys," and but but it's more it's more other charities are kind of seeing that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it has it has had some effect. It has had some effect. Yeah, okay. um, with that. So yeah, excellent. So as a small business um, operating on the high street, as as you are in. Pokes down. Yeah. Uh, at a time where a lot of small businesses on high streets aren't really, you know, their survival is sort of you know, a bit precarious. Um, what are your? Do you have any fears at, at all? Or, I mean, the, the, there's always fears there. Mm. But I think as long as you're adapting with how the market is buying, yeah, then there shouldn't. Um, to be honest, I'm not surprised that you know, high street only uh, shops are. Are struggling, yeah, um, because everybody's buying things through the internet, through yeah. their phone now. Overheads on the on the high street are quite mm-hmm. high, so hence why we moved and we can uh, sell our product online, okay, sell the service online. Um, it is a worry; it's always a worry. But I think as long as you try to keep improving and try to follow the market trends, yeah, I think um, I. I I think that's the best you can kind of do, really. Sure, sure. Um, and um, with that in mind, then, what do you think the next steps are for your business? Um, I think I think really we're we're keeping expanding. Yeah. Um, we'd love to get into some more football clubs, professional football or rugby or cricket clubs, uh, and just widen the things that we can do. Yeah. Um, we obviously we recently started doing more of the medals. Yeah. Um, at the boxing, cricket mm-hmm. bats, and things like that. So just to widen what we can do. Yeah, um, so I'm seeing around, even around this uh, little uh, office, really, I can see the medals there, and uh, I ca- I gotta mention this, this what you've done for America and Canada, um, this the the rowing. As you can probably tell, this isn't something we get in every day. Yes, of course. Um, but um, yeah, so this was um, a couple of guys who did an expedition um, from Canada um, across to America, or from from across Canada. Yeah, and um, they wanted to give this as a gift to their sponsors. Okay, but these incredible masts that they've got with us, we had to kind of mount them as well as the oars, and mm. um, it's going to be hung into somebody's office. But it's such an enjoyable thing to do because it's so obscure. Yeah, um, it was a real challenge for us. I but, can imagine. Um, I think you know. I think it looks great. Sure. But yeah, I would, oh yeah. I, 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 I would say that because because yeah. we did it. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. I mean, we love doing all these obscure things. It gives us a bit of a challenge as well. So, mm. so yeah. Oh, excellent, and um, and then finally, um, the end goal for you. Obviously, you mentioned getting involved in more professional clubs and stuff. Um, is there like any particular one that you would like if if they turned around and said, "Would you like to do something for us?" Or just, you know, yes. Well, I'm a, I'm a Plymouth supporter, ah, and although it. although they're not a big club, no, obviously uh, you would love to go and and, and do your do your own club, but. Mm, of um, you know the end goal. Oh, we would love to to get more into Europe, um, possibly a shirt frame service in France or mm-hmm. Germany, or eventually as a long long term goal. Yeah. Um, but just to expand, just to ensure that our quality is still good. Yeah. Uh, and give affordability to customers, um, charity or you know charity customers or otherwise. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, thank you very much. No problem. Thank, thank you. you very much.